Well, I suppose you're all wondering why I've called you here today. Joe, it's not funny. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um. So, tonight, two people came by the station and they said that they were Piper's parents. But they were lying. I don't know who they are. I don't know why they're looking for you. But I'm gonna find out, okay? Listen to me. I am not gonna let them take you, all right? I'm gonna keep you safe. Why do they want to take me? You know, I don't know. But I bet the answer is right in here somewhere. Are we all going to sleep in this room tonight? Sure. Safety in numbers. Uh, I've got a couple of cots in the hallway closet. Do you want to help me with them? Yeah. I'll try to remember. What? I'll try to remember. I'll try really hard. I know. It's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't want to pull you into this. I'm worried, Joe. No, it's okay. We're going to be okay. It's fine. That's not why I'm worried. I'm worried because either something's really messed up or you're really paranoid. I see. So I'm crazy. That's a good explanation for you. Well, Joe. You're not giving me one. All I see is you pulling people out of bed in the middle of the night and buying me a damn burner phone. A plane crashed on a beach, right? And then was cleaned up pretty much instantaneously. I found a kid at the crash site I'm being told wasn't even on the plane. Fake federal agents, fake parents that just vanish. I wish I was being paranoid, Alex. I don't think that I am. And don't tell, don't tell me. I'm not saying that. I didn't know what else to do. I'm not, I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm here. I'm here to help. 